Hey guys, welcome back to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. Design team member Kanika joined this side. And in this video, I shall be talking about how to use the Dress My Craft crochet lace border dye in different ways. But before moving forward, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an update from us. So let's get started. So this is how the crochet lace border dye looks like. It is a set of one dye. and this approximately measures 140 mm by 115 mm so this has a beautiful lace border pattern which is the crochet look so let's do some die cutting and see how does the die cut of this looks like so here i am using my sizzix big shot and i will be die cutting with this so i'm just simply creating a normal sandwich that is i'm simply keeping my acrylic plate then my card stock and i am keeping my die upside down and again keeping the acrylic plate and then as it's an intricate die so i am just simply making it cut through to and fro so that it cuts very nicely and stay tuned as i will as will be creating two cards using this border die and just in case if you want to buy any of these craft supplies which i am showing in this video you can check out the description box as well so can you see how beautiful the die cut looks i'll just show on a lighter shade background so you can see it clearly can you see how beautiful and intricate it looks so now i'm showing the different ways you can use this die so now you might be asking that why here is half of the die cut so it's because just in case you want to cover a larger base area and you can use two of your die cuts and if you will notice that this one as well have half so like this you can align it up and the design will be completed and so you can cover the area as long as you want and now moving on to the another way so what you can do is you can grab two of these die cuts and place them up like this together and can you see one full flower is completed and this looks beautiful as well so here i have this basket that's the paper basket which i made using the dress my craft paper pad and on the handle i did the same using the gold mirror card stock and as well i embellished the sides using the same crochet border die and have a look on this basket which is not yet embellished with the crochet border die can you see by just adding this crochet border die how beautiful my project is looking now so another way you can use this border die is by placing it like this diagonally onto your cards or onto your basket handles and what not so now let's make a couple of cards so here i'm using the dress my craft stencil this is the fishnet design and i'm using my distress inks and using my blending brush i'm simply coloring the background little bit i just want little bit of shades on the background so that my card looks beautiful so i'm just blending in the two different distress ink shades and i'm randomly coloring them up very lightly and after that here i have a sentiment which says she believed she could so she did now here i have this die cut which i have done on the romantic crosses paper pad and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a frame below and upper the sentiment so that it looks very nice so here i'm just adding this below the sentiment like this now as i'm done i'm making sure that i cover it through the base now i'm going to add my sentiment and then i'm going to take another piece of the die cut and then i'm going to add it on the upper side of the sentiment one thing i'm making sure is that i'm aligning the die cuts equally so that it looks a very elegant and the sentiment is from the floral symphony motif sheet and as well i have taken another girl motif from the floral symphony and i have fussy cut it and now adding 3d foam tape to add more dimension to my card and then i will simply add this motif at the center of my card like this and then trim off this excess of the die cut 
so that the base of my card is ready and then i'll simply attach it to the note card and your quick and easy handmade card is ready so moving on to the another card tutorial here i have as well made a shaker card and on to this side the border you can see i have added the crochet border die using the gold mirror card stock and can you see how elegant it looks so now let's move on to the second card tutorial so here i have the base ready and here i have these die cuts ready so the first die cut i am going to add on the lower side so while using this die cut make sure you are using a liquid adhesive and not a red tacky tape so that you stick on it very well and the other die cut i am placing on the top portion like this and then i am going to simply trim off the excess of the die cuts and here i have this motif from the dots and stripes motif sheet and i am going to add this motif at the center i have used 3d foam tape to give little bit of dimension to my card and now i am simply going to other it out like this and at the center i am going to add sentiment which says dream big and that too i am using with 3d foam tape to give it little more dimension and then using the same motif sheet i have fussy cut this butterfly which i am going to other on the left hand side like this making sure that i give a little bit 3d look to the butterfly so that it looks flying and chada our card is ready and i just colored the background little bit with the green shade to give it little more toned up look and can you see how quickly you can make your cards with this crochet lace border die so grab your hands on this see you soon until next time till then happy crafting